a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now how come Arthur gets a room when I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <clears throat> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed and he looked for me thank you this way last I know John was headed up the river for all we know he kept riding north and never looked back he wouldn't leave I like that uh, wouldn't be the first time Take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, it seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Get him. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. We'll continue along the cliff wall here. Davey got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Whoa. Damn snow's coming in hard again. 
We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Watch yourself, it's not very wide here. Come on, boy. Horses are struggling. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. if he can hear us. Come on. Up there. shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Careful here. Yeah, that we're high up here. You're telling me. Careful. There's a drop here. Slippery, be careful. Watch your head here. Okay, from here. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Up here. Hey, over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. A few days? I know. 
Here. Take a drink of that. Thanks. I'm not designed for this snow. Let's keep moving then. Come on. John, can you hear me? Marston, you hear me? John! Marston! I'm here! Out on the ledge! That's John! We're coming! Hey! He's down here. Down here! All right! Hot down, Marston! Quick, Arthur! That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Look up there. Shit. I'll distract him while you get to the horses. Go. Draw them off. All right, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. Should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't 
don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving? Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Watch it! Come on! Someone help John down off this horse! Can we get some help here? Can we get some help? I need some help here! Come on, help him down. You're alive! You're alive! There we go. There we go. Ay, oh, careful, idiotas! It's his leg! Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that, that civilization. I know. The West is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss, let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. What do you think, Arthur? <sighs> well, I wasn't on that boat, so hard to say. But I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. Thank you, son. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks. Starved to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if there's game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> Here, 
You take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Ooh. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <sighs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. some of the ground uncovered here. Let's look down this way. The wind's died down, too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now, shh. Stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. <sighs> There's deer been here and recently. How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. The bow, Arthur? Come on. No, use the bow I gave you. That'll make too much noise. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. See the tracks? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. It's 
easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. Down there. You see him? Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Take the shot. Good shot. Now let's try for another. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> 